Hi everyone, it's Kay and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I'm going to finally answer common questions most people ask in law school. Just a disclaimer, the questions asked might be personal and there were questions na filter na namin because they might be offensive and irrelevant na siya for this vlog segment so we decided to just remove it but i think isa lang or dalawa yung natanggal and most questions will be answered in this very uh, thing that i'm holding right now so if you're ready stay tuned subscribe to my channel and keep on watching so in this vlog we have a total of baliktad we have a total of around 10 questions ata na nandito naka-save na siya as document ano ba yan Bat baliktad yung ipad ko oh my god Sunga, sunga. Parang M lang. So anyway, I have questions here. Yun nga, there are personal questions, common questions about the school, and mga thoughts about matters related to the law. So I will, I will try my best to answer. May mga iba again na tinanggal na. So if you are here, thank you so much for sending in your questions. Kasi before, I posted a Google form where my friends or the people in my FB page could send me questions and I'm really overwhelmed by your support because I'm going to lahat. Yan. So, simula na natin. First question from Aqua Fresh. Ilalagay ko na lang dito yung question. Ang tanong niya is, tell us more about your current law school involvement. Okay. So, involvement. So, simula natin sa kung sino ako my name are. I am Kareel Shanade T. Keno. I am currently a third-year law student at the Western Union State University. Mind you, dalawa lang yung law school sa Zamboanga, Ateneo and Arneo and Wimsu. So, I, we, I am enrolled in Wimsu. So, third year, currently ongoing. It's summer vacation, but we have our makeup classes. What? And also, the current law students association president. So, yan yung involvement ko. And basically, that's it. That's the daily life. So, yan. Next question is from Alpha Roland. How is the LSA president? Well, as usual, inspired and missing the hype at the moment. Kasi walang event. Summer nga, ba? We have summer classes pero hindi kami involved. And yun, I miss the hype of everything but also enjoying life. Running, workout, swimming, of course. Yan yung buhay ko ngayon. Kasi I know when fourth year comes in, um, busy na talaga. So, I miss the hype but at the same time, I'm also happy with my current guest. Aww. Next question is from Kiki. Aww. Irrelevant po ba ako, Ma'am Charez? At una sa lahat, sino ka ba? Ikipakilala. Magpakilala ka muna at nang malaman natin kung relevant or irrelevant ka ba. Grabe naman tong mga tanong. Dapat ito yung mga tinatanggal mo. <laughs> Next question from Carly Caitlin. Most embarrassing moment in law school? Uh, ano ba? Most embarrassing moment. Wala eh, kasi mostly we have online classes. I started as a pioneering batch for the online class. So, konte yung parang pagkikita namin. Nung third year na kami, always magkasama. Tapos, uh, I cannot quite point. Pero, embarrassing or probably the most fun na lang siguro na... Na minsan nakakahiya kapag i-take mo as nakakahiya. Will be your recitations under the class of Attorney Teresa Sales. Hindi siya embarrassing pero nakakatawa na parang oh my god. Ganun yung response ni Attorney. So if you have watched my previous vlog, mga recitations ko online, isa yon. Pero I don't consider that as embarrassing. Kahit mali man kami or tama, we just you know, brush it off and, and yeah, ganun. Next question is from Wonderlust, as in L-U-S-T, Law School or Love? <makes noise> Grabe naman ang tanong. Parang kilala ko tong si Wonderlust. Nagpa-follow ako to sa Instagram ko. Ano, um, I think I would have to love both. Oh. Love both. Kasi if you have love and law school, syempre parang mas inspired oh. Whatever is given to me, I would accept. Or if you would allow me to choose, I'd have the best of both worlds. Kasi iba pa rin yung you could share someone your success with, the oh. journey that you have, parang, you know, a partner you can have it with. So, ganun yung take ko dun. So, question is from Jay, as in plain Jay. If, na, nasa side na question. What advice can you give to those aspiring lawyers 
lawyers who are not who are yet to enroll in law school. Uh, my biggest advice, I have always told my friends on this, if I'm given a chance, natatanungin ako ng taong gusto mag-enroll sa law school, it's to be emotionally, physically prepared when you enter law school. Because it's not about finances. Yes, it is because you will purchase and pay your enrollment. Pero yung point kasi is, if you are not emotionally prepared to let go of the life you have before law school, you may not be able to survive law school. So, kailangan mong i-prepare yung sarili mo that you would sacrifice time with your barkada or friends, your family. You would really have to compromise every, everything. Parang lahat siya, makokompromise. Kaya nga, tinatawag nila, law school is a jealous mistress because it would always eat up everything. So, dapat palagi kang may oras sa kanya. So, yeah. Emotionally prepared, physically prepared. Kasi, you will be stressed out. You will be... Um, waking up late or early or matutulog ka nga ng late so kailangan physically okay ka din talaga sa health mo. So yun, dapat balance sa lahat. And of course, kasama na dun yung finances because you'll have to pay for your books, your enrollment and other expenses that needs to be spent for. So yun. Next question is from Avocado for Now Naging bokya ka na ba sa rest? What? Bokya? Hindi naman siya considered bokya, pero parang nagka-misunderstanding kami nung po. Hindi naman siya bad misunderstanding. Pero parang hindi niya tinanggap yung answer ko when in fact my answer was actually based from what we learned in first year from one of the best professors, Attorney Leong, my idol. So, yun, parang na-invalidate yung learning namin or that. So, like, my classmates were like, ha, huh? why was that not accepted? So, yun oh, subject no. na. I will not tell what it is kasi wag na lang. So, yun, siguro that would... That is one thing I considered as bokya. <laughs> Kasi, but basta yun, it was like a very sad time for me at some point. Parang, how come iba yung ano ni sir? Or ni ano? Next is aspiring law student, G10 student. Sabi niya, is it true na only rich people can study law? What? Also, if you don't have scholarships, how can you manage to study law if you don't have enough money? Uh, it's not true that it's only for the rich because we, in the law school right now, we're working. We have priorities where we spend our money for. And I would not say na lahat mayayaman ang nandyan. It's just that uh, we have a budget for it. Minsan nga talaga, I would witness students who don't have enough. They just have like what's called for. So it's not true. And scholarships, I'm not sure if meron sa university, sa web. So baka sa ibang university. So... If you don't have enough money. Well, again, sabi ko nga, preparedness is key when you aspire to be a lawyer or to be a law student. So, yun. Next question is from Big Star. May I ask for any tips for LSAT? My confidence always wears out whenever I tried applying for it. First things first, mag-apply ka na. Second is, all that will be asked are basic questions. Hindi naman siya basic na super dali. But the point is, lahat na pagdaanan natin in high school and college, so wala kang problema doon. Nahirapan lang ako personally sa mathematics. So if you're good with math, you have 40 items for that and essay, of course. So really have to go back to the basic subject verb agreement, basic mathematics, writing, sentence structure, and abstract reasoning. Kasi syempre, as a lawyer, you have to know how to reason out, how to process and an analyze information. So yun. Yan yung maa-advise ko for future LSAT takers. Good luck and hope to see you in law school. Next question is from It's Yo Girl. How is it like being a working law student? How do you manage your time, study time and techniques? So, unahin natin sa being a working law student. Mahira. Aww. Wala namang madali. But, it goes back to your next question. It goes now to your next question, managing my time. Yan yung sagot sa pagiging working law student to manage your time properly. It's going to be difficult at first, but once you get through it, sabi nga ni attorney Marge Bernante, one of the best professors we have Aww. in law school, you don't, uh, law school does not get any easier. You just get to live with it day by day. So, ganon, sana yan lang din siya. And practice. May mga techniques that would apply to me and will not apply to you. Meron, papun meron papunta sa'yo would apply, pero sa akin hindi. So, it's a matter of always experimenting. But first things first, manage your time well and set your priorities straight. Next is from Query. Frat affiliation, do you have plans, if any? 
I am currently a member of the Alpha Rho Lambda with my oh. shirt right now. I am an Alpha Rolan, so I'm a very proud member of it. Bago lang, just this April 30, I was uh, I was recruited and po- formally became part of it. So I no longer have plans because I have been dreaming to be part of the Alpha Rho Lambda. And if you're a future law student or currently a law student with no fraternity affiliation, I guess it's time to consider joining Alpha Rho Lambda Law Society. Next question is from Mayang again. Curious, when you and your law friends go to a cafe, do you chit chat chica or do you focus on cases also? Anong cases nga ba ito? Oh. So, uh, when we go to a coffee shop, syempre, nag-aaral kami. Oh. And for my barkada, my law school constants, Sophia, Denzel, Shane, uh, Sarah, and Jerome, bihira na kami ngayon. We had it when we were in first year kasi hindi nga kami nakikita for class. And what we do is, we have separate time. Parang, nandiyan kami together, but we study on our own. And then, break, tapos kwento, tapos balik na naman. So, minsan, pag naglolokoloko kami, yun, naubos ang time, magkwentuhan lang. But, you know, it's not like we're always pressured as a group. We're just there for each other. Ganyan. Pero for now, wala kami current study time together. Kasi, yun, busy nga talaga. And we always see each other naman at school. So, we, see, we meet at the library. Next question is from Original Balbala. Grabe naman po. Anong favorite subject mo sa law school and bakit Oblicon? Uy, hindi ka sure. Idol ko lang talaga ang prof. I, I think the entirety of it would be civil law. I'm really, I really fell in love with civil law because of my very best professor, Attorney Florencia M. Leong Jr. Hi, Attorney, if you're watching this. Na-inspire talaga ako. I mean, I was able to appreciate. First, my... First talaga, criminal law. So, kaso nagka-problema kami sa subject. So, parang kulang ba yung discussion? So, here came our professor for civil law. Um, yun, he was explaining everything so well. And of course, for me, as a reader, na-appreciate ko naman talaga yung beauty. Especially um, when we started off with Article 19 of the Civil Code. So, if you're a law student, kailangan memorize nyo din yan. Okay? So, yun. Civil law in its entirety. Kasi in coming fourth year na kami, so natapos na kami mostly. And we're going to review this year, God willing, and I would say, it's civil law. Next question is, what motivates you to finish law school? Aww. From Carly Caitlin pa rin. Uh, well, it's my dream to be a lawyer, Aww. so I think that's what motivates me the most. And of course, for my family, and madami, yun nga, sabi ni Justice Kagiwa, in the recent speech she had for the bar takers of the Kagiwa Bar 2022, maraming naka maraming nakaabang sa inyo. Parang ganun yung tenor. So, you have to do this kasi the, the country and the people who are closest to you depend on, will depend on you in a way na yun nga, i-defend mo. You will be ambassadors of um, providing justice for the people who needs it. So, ganun. That's for me. Ah. That's, that's my take. So, whatever other people have as their reasons to finish law school, that's on them. So, yan yung reason ko, personally. It's all, it has always been a dream. So, I'm here now. Kaya, malapit na. Laban lang. Next question is from Estudyanteng Mabait. Study tips po for first years. Kanya-kanya kasi yung ano eh, mabibigay, ano ba to, strategies. Pero as a tip, read. Read, read, read. Yun na lang. Magbasa ka. Kasi pag hindi ka nagbabasa, hindi ka talaga maka-answer, hindi ka maka-follow through with your discussions in the class. So, read, read, read. That's my pro tip for you. Next is from Carly Caitlin Olet. Song of your life right now? Hala, tatawa ata yung pinsan ko dito, pati, pati yung mga kaibigan ko. There's this song, pero hindi yun ang song of my life right now. Hmm. I think it would be Love Again by Celine Dion. Maganda siya in a way na you could love again. Not only people, yung parang the previous habits that you have and all others, parang pwede mong balikan if you want to. So I think that would be the song of my life at this very hour, 4 o'clock p.m. of this day. So, yan. So before we continue, magko-coffee break muna ako. I am this kind of barista for now. I am a barista of my own coffee. So, eto, inom tayo guys. I prepared this myself. Little ice lang kasi kaka-recover ko lang from my cold. Pero ice coffee is life. So, anyway, let's continue with Arabong student. 
Hello ma'am, pa shout out. What is the general work of a lawyer? Ikaw ba minsan? Feeling ko si ano to, si Haikel ito. Is this you? Haikel Ali, Muhammad Haikel Ali. A former student sa ILS High School. So sila actually yung one of the reasons why I was driven back to enter law school. As a fun story lang, I enrolled in 2016. I was a fresh graduate back then but I quitted for like a day. <laughs> and then, mina ko bumalik. I entered MA and I finished my MA became stable in room two and all others. So yun, si, sila to yung mga one of the best students talaga na group. High school sila noon. They were so cute. So ngayon, college na to sila. So hello, hi, Kel, or whoever you are, Arabong student. Isa lang kasi ang Arabong student ko. So I'm sure it's Mr. Haikel Ali. Hello and have a great day. So next question is from Beauty Lamin, whatever, how you read this. Ano po yung reason kung bakit nyo pinasok yung law school? Is it part of your dreams or my major changes sa buhay nyo na nag-decide kayo ng law school? Isa lang sagot ko, it has always been a dream. So, wala na akong ibang rason. So, a dream and of course, syempre may nakikita ka sa society so you're more motivated to pursue the dream. So, yeah. so next is from Rads. Rads is asking, ano yung pinakamahirap na subject na napag-aralan mo? Oh, As no! of this moment, third year kami, I think the one that Lahat mahirap, pero yung nagbigay talaga sa akin ng parang break a leg, break a bone, break a nerve, lahat-lahat, taxation po. So, tax. Hello, attorney Kittel. Have a great day. Mahirap talaga siya kasi siguro dahil hindi ako part ng profession of, ano ba, accountant. Oh. So, hindi ako familiar, bagong-bago siya. So, lahat ng subjects mahirap, but the one that really gave me so much stress, Napaiyak din nata ako ng taxation talaga. So, yan. Tax subject. One and two. Next question is from Kali. What time do your classes usually start and end? Is it daily like even on weekends? So, siguro itong taong to napapansin ang my day ko before. Napalagi ako na sa school. Um, it starts at 5.30 to 9.30. So, yes. gabi gabi na talaga. And yes po, meron kaming weekend classes. Um, that is, depende sa time ng professor. So, my weekend kapag make-up session siya. Pero yung regular schedule talaga, Monday to Friday. Because the dean wanted to make sure na, tawag mo dyan, parang yung weekend is for us. Pero syempre, we would adjust to our professors who would also want to give us what's best for us. Lawyers. So, we would give in to weekends. Minsan, wala kaming klase sa weekday kasi nakakain yung weekend namin. So, parang balance out din naman siya. Ganon. Next is, I think this is the last. Ay, meron pa. Meron pa ba? Wala na. Last question is from Balbalan 2.0. ba to? Sino po ang pinakamaganda sa Wimsulo? At bakit po ikaw? Ah, ikaw ha. Liki ka man. So, so, hindi ko po alam. Basta alam ko lahat ng mga babae at mga um, professors sa Wimsulo ay maganda by heart and uh, by soul. Sure. Physically, maganda lahat. Wala kong ano. Pero pag ako then go, I will take the compliment. Thank you, Miss Mr. 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 Balbalan 2.0, whoever you are. So guys, that's it for this segment of the vlog. Thank you sa mga questions na sinend niyo And if you have more questions, siguro magpa-part to tayo ng Q&A vlog na to for law school. Thank you for being with me. And sa mga law students, don't forget to avail your Wimsu Law merch until July 5, 2020. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on my next vlog.